Okay, packing tutorial, take number 27. Let's go. All right, now we had to do a quick readjustment on the packing list because uh, it's gonna be a little bit cooler than initially anticipated. Um, it should be in the 40s when we arrive in Athens. Um, by the time Monday rolls around, um, it should be up in the 50s again. But I think it might be cooler this time. So I rearranged kind of what I thought you guys might want to think about bringing. Um, and I kind of laid it out this way. Okay, so given the cooler weather, two shorts are sufficient. Dos. Now, over in the shirt area, I brought one wool sweater and then two lightweight sweaters, and then five t-shirts. I like to do lots of layering, so you can take off the clothes um, as it gets hotter, and we're gonna find that it's gonna be cooler in the morning when you get up, um, and it's gonna be nice and warm by the time we get to the afternoon, so you won't need everything. But one good wool sweater um, to bring along, I think is gonna be a good idea at this time. Two small layering sweaters, um, and then, I brought one dress shirt uh, for going out to a fancy dinner, um, and that's gonna be super fun. And then I brought some casual shirts, light cotton, um, linen, um, and I brought um, four of those. Um, I'm bringing four pairs of wool socks, because I like wool socks, uh, because they store them warm and they get wet, we might uh, meet some rainy weather, and they can wear them a couple of days. Um, and they don't get stinky. So wool is nice. I also brought four cotton socks. Um, one pair of sneakers, put them in a plastic bag, okay? Um, you wanna bring an extra plastic bag for wet stuff. Um, I brought seven pairs of underpants, two pairs of light trousers, one pair of jeans, and I'll be wearing one pair of jeans when I get on the airport. You're gonna need to have um, your uh, chargers, uh, your converters uh, for plugging into electric. This one's nice because it's got the USB so you can throw your phone in there. I'll bring a couple of extras, but you wanna make sure you get a good um, charger so you can put your US um, plug in there and you put your European plug um, into the sockets. This one has got a surge protector and I like that, it's a nice feature. You're gonna need to have one journal. and. I I just like to have one that's done on graph paper because they're going to be doing some drawing of some archaeological sites and some architecture. Um, so that's going to be good. Pencils are a must. Um, I like to have one small backpack I can have uh, to take on the road. Um, and I can pull out of my backpack um, my larger pack uh, when I need to. We're going to need one heavier shell. Okay. And this is the one I'm going to wear. Um, it's it's uh, thick uh, cotton canvas. It's pretty water repellent. Um, and I think it's gonna do fine uh, against the elements we're gonna be encountering. Okay, now, remember, you gotta bring your travel size toothpaste or else they're gonna take it away from you. I also brought Band-Aids, antiseptic wipes. Um, and then uh, this is um, a little bit of bacitracin in case you get any cuts. If you have long hair, make sure you bring extra ties. Um, I'm gonna bring one bar soap. I'm bringing that with me. This is great for washing out your underpants and your socks and washing out the armpits of your t-shirts. Ibuprofen. And then these are great. I just bring earplugs because you never know if you're gonna get a roommate that's gonna snore. Um, so these you can put in lightly. They'll do the job um, and you'll still be able to wake up in the morning. Computer, I'm bringing mine. You probably want to bring yours. Um, we'll be doing some work when we're over there. There's probably some work you have to do when you're there. Um, other than that, you'll have to do it all on your cell phones. Um, do the reading of the text we're going to be doing. And you can do that. You guys are better at reading smaller text than I am. Okay, so that's basically the way in which that um, I think you should be thinking about uh, packing. Each of these will, will fold up and take up one third of the... Um, um, travel bag, and then um, we'll have uh, plenty of stuff to take with us so that we can adapt to the different changing uh, weather we're going to encounter. 
It's gonna be a little cooler at first. So we'll spend a lot more time eating delicious food and then it's gonna warm up as we get into that uh, second week. Okay, so um, I'll wrap this up and I'll, uh, just to show you that it can be done, I'll recut to this scene um, with the bag packed, okay? Okay. Okay, there you go, voila. Um, all that. 124 inch by 18 inch suitcase um, and we're good to go. So I hope you guys are excited. Um, I really am. We'll be um, heading out to some pretty amazing destinations and I got um, some backup plans if it's a little bit rainy for the first couple days. Um, but that's it. Um, we'll see you guys on Tuesday and um, oh remember to bring a small compact umbrella. That's my last bit of advice. Okay, see you later.